Good morning everybody. Alright, we've got a little module in today. This is a BMW CAS module, it's CAS 2. Um, this particular one has been sent in for us to clone the data over, so we're going to make a full copy of it onto another module, keys, everything. Um, these modules are semi-common for failure. Um, occasionally see water ingress. This one particular one isn't putting out the ignition signal or the start signal. Um, it isn't immobilized, there's no fault set, the keys are registered and reading, so I've been assured that there's no issues with the software on it. Um, it is a hardware failure, apparently there's no signs of damage or anything. So we've got a second hand one on the way. Um, we are gonna get to extracting all the data from this and then we'll copy it all over to a donor unit. Now the first thing on these, um, they do run an MC9S12 processor. So if we hook up our camera, we'll be able to see what chip is actually in this thing. Uh, there we go. So it is a, what do we got, what do we got, what do we got? It's a MC9S12 DG256 with a 2K79X mask. So that's our processor number, that'll be a BMW number, and then that's the mask of the chip there. Um, first things first, gonna pull up connection diagrams and we're gonna start extracting everything from this. All right, so first connections we have to make uh, on the back here. So right where that little resistor is, we're gonna set the camera up and we'll make all the connections on the board. All right, and just like that, we're all connected up. As you can see, we're soldered on. So now we're gonna see if we can extract everything out of this processor. All right, as you can see, we do have a good data read out of this. Um, so I've backed up our P-Flash. Now this is all our running data. Well, that's what I'd call it anyway, the flash of what this module does. Um, there's no vehicle specific, or the, there's a VIN number, but there's no keys or anything stored in this data. Um, that will all be stored in our EEPROM, which we'll read now. If we've read the P flash, then we'll be able to read the EEPROM. There we go, as you can see, it decrypts the chip, takes a read. So that's our EEPROM data, we'll save that as well. Uh, and from there, what we can do is that can get copied over to a donor module. Um, we don't need to adjust the mileage or anything in this just because obviously it's all, all going into the same car. Um, if we were swapping a new CAS into a vehicle, then we would need to adjust the mileage in it because what will happen on these BMWs, anytime you change a CAS module with a second hand part, this does store the mileage. Um, and say you were to put this module, which might have 200,000 Ks into it, into a vehicle that it has 150, your vehicle's instrument cluster will then say 200,000. So that needs to be done. You can't just straight swap these and reprogram keys. You need to adjust or zero out the mileage. Um, so from there, it's just rinse and repeat for the next one. So we'll get the next module in um, and we can swap that over and happy days.